Coach, how are you? Hello there. How does it feel? This feels great to be home. It feels like we've been on the road for a month, so rainy, cold, it's, it's still, it's great to be home in Philadelphia. Can you, how was that win last night? Oh, it's still, it's still, uh, it's still a thrill. You know, you wake up this morning, you can't, you can't believe it. Um, I know we're all still uh, riding high. We, we, we got, we got back to the hotel really late last night. They had a really cool um, trip on the river walk, uh, down the river on a barge. So we were up late, but uh, we're, we're really happy to be home. In your wildest dreams, did you ever imagine this would happen twice in three years? No, no, I, I, I never, I never dreamt this. I don't think. Uh, you know, you look at guys like Phil Booth and Jalen Brunson, Mikael Bridges, and those guys have won two national championships. I mean, kids dream about just getting to the Final Four, just getting there, you know? For these guys, it's incredible. Dante's performance last night, did it exceed your expectations? Yeah, he was unbelievable. It was, uh, you got a red-headed Italian kid with Roly Massimino, RVM on his chest, getting 31 <laughs> off the bench, you know? You don't think Roly Massimino had something to do with that from upstairs? It was it was amazing. What was the atmosphere on the plane? Everybody beat? Yeah, the atmosphere on the plane was asleep. <laughs> Everybody was exhausted. We we got back really late last night and uh, had uh, breakfast this morning and then took off. Hopefully they rested for the celebration. I mean, I know you guys celebrated in San Antonio last night. How is that going to compare to the celebration here at home? Uh, you know what? Uh, I I don't I don't know. These are these are always things you don't know how to uh, you don't know what to expect because you've been away for so long, you know. And we saw a video of campus that looked wild last night. That would have been fun to be there. Uh, but we, we look. I I know mostly everyone's looking forward to get home in their own beds. And we've been on the road for a long time. Coach, you guys were focused from from the start of the season. Uh, would you guys would you tell you guys all year to just kind of finish the job? This time? Well, it, you know, we, we were just getting on, just get to the next game. You know, just get better every game. And and I think these guys were, were mentally tough enough to even after the Kansas game concentrate on Sunday to prepare for Michigan one more game. And then when you play the last game, it's almost like you can't believe. We were all joking in the locker room, like, okay, we got to get got to get rest tonight, get ready tomorrow for the next game. We all joked, hey, there isn't any. This is it. What's the first thing you want to say to the fans when you see it? Just thank you for being there with us all year, and thanks for the passion and loyalty. You know, we played at the Wells Fargo Center all year. Uh, we didn't play any home games, and the Villanova fans traveled down, and everybody in Philly came to the Wells Fargo Center. It was a really special year. Talk to Coach Massimino's family yet? Yeah, I, I, I talked to a lot of them after the game, I, and, and like I said, uh, to have a redheaded Italian kid get 31 points off the bench with RVM on his jersey, man, that, that's special. You know Coach Mass had something to do with that. Are going to be here again next year? Oh, man. I, I hope so, man. I, we, we got some work to do. We'll see. Uh, we have some guys that have some great opportunities um, professionally. We'll see what everybody does. Coach, thank you so much. Thanks for coming out and standing in the rain, guys. We appreciate it very much. And you heard there the coach of this dominant team of the Wildcats say that the, the guys on the plane, they're tired, but they are ready for a celebration here, and they are thanking the fans.